On April 11th of 2004, we saw Usain Bolt become the first junior sprinter in history to break the 20-second barrier in the 200 meters, achieving a time of 19.93 seconds. This time destroyed the previous notion of what a junior runner was capable of, and for more than a decade after this time, his 19.93 second clocking placed him firmly in the lead in this all-time junior division. But as many of you know, this time was destined to fall in 2021. Firstly, I want to give you all an idea of what exactly this all-time list looked like in the year 2020. For the first three positions, Bolt's 19.93, 19.99, and 20.03 second performances were completely unrivaled by anyone else in history. But just take a look at what happened from 2021 to 2022. On this new updated top 10 list, the unmatched dominance of Arion Knighton in the junior rankings is completely clear. Not only did he dismantle Usain Bolt's previous performances, but he now holds 9 out of the top 10 positions ever, and every one of these performances were all under 20 seconds for the 200. Knighton's silky smooth and powerful running in 2022 made him a force to be reckoned with when it comes to the Outdoor 200. And even though 2023 appears to be yet another year of sprinting supremacy, there's something that many people have forgotten that just might make him an unstoppable force in the sprinting world. This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. I've been using Ridge Wallet for about six months now, and I can honestly say that I am never going back to regular wallets. What these designs offer is a sleek, stylish, and minimalistic way to approach your daily essentials, but the look and feel of these wallets is by far my favorite part. With 10 years of positive reviews and high-quality wallets, Ridge is obsessed with making durable, space-saving gear that you will actually use, and I can confirm that every single day, I look forward to using these wallets. Head on over to ridge.com slash ridgetrp to get off to 40% off your purchase through March 26th. 40% off is a huge deal, so make sure to take advantage of this amazing offer right now. Again, that's ridge.com slash ridgetrp. On May 31st of 2021, Arion Knighton took down one of Usain Bolt's timeless records in the sprinting world, clocking a time of 20.11 seconds at the Duval County Challenge in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, this performance didn't break Usain Bolt's world junior record or anything, but it did take down his previous world youth record, which previously stood at 20.13. At just 17 years of age, Knighton's exploits in the 200 meters placed him as a real threat to make the Olympic team, and against all odds for a high school senior, Knighton actually made his way onto the Olympic team with a nearly flawless performance of 19.84 seconds in the Olympic trials. Now for these 2021 trials, Knighton placed third behind Noah Lyles and Kenny Benarek, and he actually managed to take down Fred Curley in this race. And while this season was already turning into one of the greatest ever for a youth athlete, he still wasn't done, because upon making it to the Olympic finals, he managed to place fourth with a time of 19.93 seconds into a slight headwind, just one placement away from an Olympic podium position. The 2021 season for Knighton placed him into extremely rare territory for an athlete of this age, and the Olympic Games exploits left the world wondering, what exactly would this kid do next? Well, on April 30th of 2022, the world would get their answer, as Arion Knighton ran one of the most sensational times in sprinting history for a junior athlete, clocking a time of 19.49 seconds in the 200 meter dash. This time absolutely crushed his own previous junior record by 0.35 seconds, and at the time it now placed him as the fourth fastest athlete in 200 meter history, just ahead of Noah Lyles, and only now behind Usain Bolt, Johan Blake, Michael Johnson of the United States, three of the all-time greatest sprinters to ever compete. Now, for the remainder of 2022, Knighton stayed consistent as one of the world's best half-lap athletes. He continuously ran under 20 seconds, he won his first Diamond League meeting, and then on July 21st of 2022, he became the youngest male athlete to ever win an individual medal in the World Championships, with a bronze medal placement in 19.80 seconds. Knighton has been a non-stop machine of 200-meter greatness over the previous two seasons, and his junior career in sprinting has been one of the greatest and most influential that the world has ever seen. 
But this is actually what many people have forgotten, because while it might seem like Knighton had one of the greatest junior careers of all time, he's actually still not done. Because given the World Athletics guidelines for a junior athlete, Knighton still has one final year of junior running eligibility, meaning that 2023 could actually be an even greater season for junior record domination. On January 29th, Knighton turned 19 years of age, and in order to be an official junior athlete, you simply need to stay under 20 years old for an entire calendar year. So by just one month, Knighton qualifies for yet another year of junior running. And this can only mean one thing, it's about to get absolutely crazy on the track once again. Back in 2021 for his season opener, he initiated his 200 meter campaign with a solid time of 20.31 seconds, a very respectable time for a 17 year old. But then he slowly and steadily improved on his season down to 19.84 in the Olympic trials. And he ended his season with a total of three performances under the 20 second barrier. The following season in 2022, he did something quite different as he opened his season with a PB of 19.49, and while he never matched this time again last year, he did go on to break 20 seconds a total of 7 times. These two seasons are drastically different in terms of personal record performances, but they do showcase the continued ability to run well throughout his entire season. But the real question now is what exactly will he do in 2023, a year with yet another championship global event during this year's summer season? Is it possible that we could see Knighton once again mount the podium in this year's world championships? Or is it possible that he could attack his own world junior record, again running under 19.50? There are many possibilities as to what he will do this season, but no matter which way you look at it, Knighton is probably going to do some serious work throughout this entire season, but despite his likely dominance over the 200 meters, I'm curious as to how he'll compete in the 100, and more specifically, I'm curious as to whether or not he will finally break the 10 second barrier. Last year, while Knighton was setting some insane standards in the 200 meters, we saw Letsile Tobogo from Botswana become the first and still the only junior athlete to ever break 10 seconds in the 100 and also break 20 seconds in the 200. Tobogo is quickly becoming one of the best all-around sprinters in the world, but could Knighton actually match this accomplishment? He's already gotten very close to breaking 10 with a personal record of 10.04, and surely, with the 200 meter clocking of 19.49, he could manage a sub 10 second clocking in the 100. This season, I feel that as long as Knighton stays healthy, he's on a fast track to running under 10 seconds in the 100, but I'm not entirely sure as to exactly how far under 10 seconds he'll run. But the most pressing question for many people is how fast will he run in the 200 meters this season? For the previous four years, Knighton has been slowly and steadily improving in the 200 meters, improving his PB from 21.15 in 2019 down to 19.49 in 2022. In fact, in every single event, even down to his relay races, Knighton's personal records have been steadily improving to some of the fastest clockings of all time. At just 19 years old, Knighton is currently in a very unique position as quite possibly the most dominant junior athlete in track and field right now. But his competitors are actually not his fellow teenagers. They're the best sprinters in the entire world. Last year, we saw the rivalry grow between Arion Knighton and Noah Lyles in the 200 meters. And while this United States Championship race was an absolute showdown, Lyles ultimately came out on top with a performance of 19.67 against Knighton and 19.69. Looking back on it, Knighton was very much in a difficult position, as Lyles brought many years of experience to the table, and he was already a world champion in 2019. Now with yet another year of experience and another step forward in the sprinting world, what times do you think Knighton will run in 2023? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.